guys welcome back to Tracy's place today I'm going to be showing you the hair in the hat uh, tutorial and I hope you enjoy the video I came up with this idea because I got tired of seeing women in the stores and out on the streets in the mall with bonnets on that looks so bad I hate to go on a rant but that looks so bad to me um, so I hope I can I'm getting myself all in the in view but um, this is one look that I came up with and basically it's the um, the wig caps that you can buy in the store. They're usually two in a pack for a dollar. Um, you're going to just put tracks around the bottom half. You could put as much hair, you know, a different kind of hair or whatever, but sew it or um, sew it or uh, hot glue gun it around the back, and that way you don't have hair all around here, and you're not hot whether it's spring, fall, winter, you know, what have you. Um, your your head is not going to get hot because that's one of my pet peeves. I hate to put on a hat and I got all this hair under it. It's bulky and it's hot. So um, I came up with this idea and I hope you like it. So I'm going to get into the video and uh, you know show you the tutorial and I will show you a couple of looks when I get back. This is one of them. I hope I'm getting myself in view. Um, but I have the hair over the shoulder and uh, some just down in the back. I like this look. Um, so this is one hat idea and I'll show you the rest after the video. All right guys, I am back and here is what you need. I have a stocking cap that I just got from like a wig store or what have you. And I think this was, yeah, two in a pack. They were like a dollar. And what you wanna do is you wanna put it on your head first and you wanna mark and what I did, I just took some um, eyeshadow, took my little applier stick here, dipped it in the light color, and I marked on my head where I wanted the hair to be. Because you don't want the hair to be all the way up here and make your hat bulky and make it too thick to put your hat on your head. You want to, the whole point of it is um, so you won't be hot, you know, your head won't be hot or you know, you won't have so much bulk on when you're just running out. Or if you're styling and profiling in your hat, you still don't want it all bulky and everything. So you want the hair to be at the bottom, near the bottom of where the hat is going to be, you know, where the hair is going to be coming out of the hat. So that's where I marked mine at, going across here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get started. And I'm just going to place... I'm going to cut it. What you want to do is, let me see if I can get this camera straight. <laughs> I don't have a tripod yet, so. You want to cut the hair. You want to measure it around. Like, you want to start, like, do a piece here. Like, from here to here. And that's going to be, oh gosh, what, five inches or so. And then you want to cut a bigger piece going up there and then a bigger piece and then until it's all the way to your ear area okay so you want a good um at least four layers and i'll let you know when i get done how many tracks i ended up using so this is the hair that i'm using and it's the ultra and it's a number two and it is batik it's 100% cankalon fiber. So that's what, it's, what it looks like. It's going to be curly. So I'm going to get started and let you in on the process. Okay. I'm using the hot glue gun method. And what I'm going to do, there's a little rib of elastic there. I'm not going to put it on the elastic because... It stretches and it goes back and forth and I don't want the hair to get loosened in the stretching process. So I'm going to put it right above the elastic. That's where I'm going to start. Okay. And then I'm going to put my little piece of hair right there. And I have two tracks right here together. So I'm going to maneuver this some kind of way. And I know, guys, some people are watching. And just because you have a YouTube channel, they think you're an expert. 
not all YouTubers are experts. I'm not a hairdresser or anything. This is a DIY homemade thing. So I'm just kind of letting you in on the process that I'm using. This is something I thought of. And I know some ladies just like to put their hat on and go or, you know, just have a, a quick little look running to the grocery store and please don't put on that bonnet and go to that grocery store. <laughs> so this is actually, you know, just a method to look cute, you know, to look cute while you're going out in a hurry. You can use this with multiple hats, as I said earlier. I'm going to use it with multiple hats. So... I'll be back in a sec. I'm going to put another track here. I'm just going to go here. And I'm going to keep on going until I get to my desired height and desired thickness and result. So I'll be back. Okay, and one other thing. I'm using thread as well because even though the glue gun method, it does pretty well, they don't. it doesn't stay on forever. So you want something to reinforce your work. You don't want to do this and then the next couple months is, you know, popping the loose. You want to reinforce your work and you want to just put a couple of stitches of thread in there. Also make sure, like I have um, taped um, newspaper under here and it has tape on the top so that this doesn't go through and get on the mannequin. Um... You can also put like a plastic shower cap or, you know, just something to cover this styrofoam so that um, the glue doesn't get, you know, stuck to it. Because if you glue all this and you just have the styrofoam up under there, <laughs> uh, you're going to have, this is going to be stuck to the styrofoam head. Okay, so you want to be able to pull this off and be able to wear it, of course. So you have to use, you know, something plastic and make sure that it's not sticking to it um, okay so just be mindful of that too but I'm going to put a couple stitches in here you know I want my piece to be reinforced this is um, the third row and I'm going to show you how I do the thread I just take it and I go under the track like this and I get to almost the end of the thread and I don't pull it through of course because I don't knot this I don't knot it I just keep going right back under the track and I'm holding that thread with my thumb okay And I'm going to make another one. You can do as many as you want. I wouldn't do more than five because you don't want it bulky, remember? So we're just going to do it one more loop. And see, that's tight by itself now. But I'm just going to clip it right there. And this is what I've been doing. I've just been putting like one, two, three, four stitches in. And what I'm going to do... I usually wait till I get done with the whole row, stitching like little four little pieces, you know, around. And then I go back and I do this. I glue the thread and that keeps it from coming undone. I don't have to knot it. It would take too much time to knot every little piece of thread. So you just put a dab of glue on the thread and that takes care of that. Now it's secure, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put in one, two, three more. So I'm going to do four um, little slits. I don't know what else to call it, but four, three more little stitches around here. And I'm going to glue the stitches down. And then I'm going to make my last row at the top. Okay, here's the last row. And see, it's... A nice thickness around here hopefully you can see that and I'm going to go ahead and stitch the last four around here and I'm going to show you then what it looks like 
under hats. All right, this is look number two, just a cute little cream tam with pearl earrings. And, you know, just kind of wear it with a little flare off to the side. You can put cute little jewelry on with it. And, um, yeah, look cute going out. But this is number two. Okay, there's another look. This is look number three. And this is just a black tam that I have. Can wear any kind of jewelry, small loopy earrings or the big gold ones like I had before, the little studs. So I have the hair draped around both shoulders this time. And that's that look. Look number four. Gray, kind of old timey. I think guys, older guys used to wear these long ago. <laughs> but these came back in style. So I think it's flannel-like, kind of flannel. And so that's the fourth look. And have on some little studs with it. Hair over both shoulders. All right, guys, and this is the last look, the baseball cap. <laughs> All right, just a recap of what this video was about, and it was about the hair and the hat. And just, um, you know, when you're running out, you just want something quick, or if you're going to make it an all-day look. The point of of it is basically not to have your hair all bulky under the hat and for you not to be hot and sweaty, you know, around the head, having a lot of hair up under your you know, your hat and everything. And um, to stop that bonnet from going to the grocery store and to the mall and everywhere else. <laughs> so tacky. All right, guys. But I will see you next time on Tracy's Place. Uh, if you like this video, please comment. Please share. Uh, let's get rid of those bonnets at the store <laughs> and on the streets. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Take care.